Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm fishing by myself at this pond over here. The thing about this pond is fishing is usually really good and there's some big bass in here, but two things. Well, right now we got some goose hanging out over here. It's kind of annoying with like all the goose in the water. Look at those guys. Where's my shotgun when I need it? And also, this lake is kind of public. I mean, kind of private. There's a lot of people who don't like me fishing here and not really allowed to be fishing here, but I fish here anyways. Look at these goose. Like, why are they hanging out out here? Like, it's right where I'm going to be fishing. I'm going to go down there and see if we can catch some bass. I haven't had a good day of fishing in like a couple weeks. I've been uh, either catching like one or two small fish or getting skunked when I've been going out. So hopefully today's change. That's why I drove here because this lake's usually good. So I'm going to get after it. Stay tuned. All right. The water is also flooded, as you can see. Had a lot of rain lately. This lake is usually pretty fire over here, but with all these geese, look at all these things. There's like a hundred of them. Well, I guess I'm just gonna fish right here where the goose are and try not to get attacked by one of them. Maybe I shouldn't fish this part of the lake. I'm gonna, there's a bite. Maybe I should be fishing this part of the lake. First cast, we got ourselves a bass. Wow, that was fast. Not the size we're after, but it is the right species, so. Hey, so far this lake's been better than the other lake I've been fishing. First cast, got a nice little chunky bass on the jig. The way I want to catch him in the right species, so. All right, thank you. Is he on there? Yeah, he's on there. Oh, no, he came off. Let me uh, recast out there because it felt like a decent bite. I'm going to get back out there. Just got to snap the jig out of the weeds. Yep. There we go. That's a better fish. Yep, that's a good fish better fish there we go yep I definitely feel that that was awesome how I just caught that fish though I um there we go that is what we're after here folks that's a two-pounder how chunky that thing is all right so I just want to explain to you how I caught that fish so dragging around I feel weeds all the whole all throughout the whole cast and then I felt a rock and then on the rock I slowly dragged it over that rock and then he ate it so Whenever you're fishing a jig or, or like that came right out. Whenever you're fishing a jig or something in, or any bottom bait and you feel something different compared to everything else, definitely make sure you slow your bait down or fish it most effectively as you can in that specific area of your cast. Wow, that was awesome. Hey, look at this. There's a popper right there on the tree. That's interesting. Look at this. The people who work here just completely gave up on mowing this section. They're like. Who cares? Let's just leave it grow. Well, this is a perfectly mowable area, folks. So, mow your grass. That's a big fish. Oh, geez. Are you kidding me? Literally, that fish took my jig and was running to the side with it. You either get a huge, like, thump, or the fish just takes it and just slowly just swims away. That's, you know, it's a big fish. If they just like tap, 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 or they just bite it like normal, then usually kind of a, just a, less than like two or three pounds or less, but it's a bite. That one's not very big. See now, there's a fish. It's not too big, but I'm still happy to catch it. Yeah, this fish was just a couple, you know, small taps really. Nothing too aggressive as the bite goes. It's big enough to put up a nice fight, that's for sure. Not really, I kind of just pulled it in. All right, there you go. A lot of people ask me for more tips and explain what I'm doing to catch these fish. And really, I'm not that great of a bass fisherman, but compared to a lot out there on YouTube, but I can share with you what I'm doing right now. So, as you can see, the water is not really muddy, but not very clear. It's kind of stained. It's like about two, 
two and a half foot visibility. So this is the jig color I chose and it's been working. So there's like three main types of jigs I think. There's like black and blue. Um, there's this type, which is like, you know, got some gold in there, some brown in there, some black in there. Like a mixture between um, black and blue and green pumpkin. This type of jig. So we got a little bit of blue in there, a little bit of gold flakes, some brown. That's what I like for this type of lake. And also it's November, so the water is really cold. And I have this trailer that has not much action to it. Some trailers have little flanges on the end, which have like a lot of action. This doesn't have much action, it's more subtle, and that's what I like to use in colder water because the bass aren't as active. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Uh, if it does, hopefully you learn something. Hopefully you use my tips to catch more bass. Just a small one. There we go. There we go. That's a better fish. Oh yeah. Another two pounder, I think. There we go. All right, that is what we were after right there. That's a nice one there. All right. All these fish are being barely hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Have you noticed that? There we go. That's a solid fish. It's like the same spot where I caught the other two pounder like about 45 minutes ago, so. I'll leave this jig linked in the description. It's a brand new jig I'm trying out. It's called a Santone Lures Jig. I think the color is called spicy too, so you gotta love some spicy baits. Oh yeah, this is what I need right here. Camo gloves. My hands feel warm already. What's up with these snakes, man? They're always trying to climb out. Let's go on a move here. Look at that. A plus right there on the parking job though. I ain't gonna say that I'm pretty prime on that. I only have like a half hour to fish. Then I gotta, gotta roll out of here. Oh wow. Yeah, I didn't know, I didn't think that was gonna work. Wow, that fish is in like an inch of water. I was really, I cast it in shallow water and those tons of like, weeds are along the edge here in shallow water. So I cast it out, just swam it back as a swim jig. He crushed it. Okay. Oh yeah, right here, wow. So because I just caught that fish before this one, such shallow water, I decided I'm gonna start doing some of this, you know, flipping along the edges here where there's some deeper water. And sure enough, got one. Not very big, but again, the way I caught it was just awesome. Is that a fishing lure? What is that thing? I got a fishing lure right here. There we go, a little fishing lure. Oh, all the hooks are rusted off completely, wow. A little fishing lure here. Oh, yeah. Got him that time. Yeah, this is why um, I'm missing these fish so much, because it's very small. But hey, there we go. My camera just died, so it's probably gonna die in like three seconds. So here's the fish I just caught. There he goes. I'm gonna end it up now. I'm gonna end the video in the truck because I'm all done. Might might make one more cast though. All right, a few minutes after the last fish, got ourselves another one. Probably on my phone right now because my GoPro's dead. I'm gonna be done fishing now. 
Um, has it's again later in the day and I'm supposed to be home by now, but I'm not I'm fishing right now. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was definitely one of my better days of fishing this November. Why is it so blurry? I'm not sure if it feels like that the whole time. If it was, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got a long walk up this trail to the truck. All right, so I made it back to the house. Today was great. I actually caught like 10 fish, way more than I was expecting to catch. Uh, I was expecting to catch like two, but I actually caught more than that. Uh, I didn't catch a three or four pounder like I was hoping, but I did manage to catch a couple two pounders, which is always good. And the way I caught the fish on that jig is my favorite way to catch fish. So, well, the frog is probably my favorite way, but a jig is always great too. Hopefully you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, turn on that notification bell right next to the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video.